this video, we will illustrate the process of setting a constraint room and how it is imposed on the design in Altium Designer. A room is a discrete region where a particular net follows some specific rules which are different from that of the main circuit. On the rest of the layers of the board, these rules do not apply to the same net. For instance, it is necessary to define a constraint region for routing a BGA where the pitch is minimal. To exemplify the steps for setting constraint region, we have taken a BGA with 0.5 millimeter pitch and an air gap of 10.63 mils between two pads. Generally, traces are routed with a spacing and width of 8 mils in the board. But if you route a trace of 8 mils between the two pads in a BGA, there will only be 1.3 mil space available on each side of the trace, which is not recommended. The best possible trace width calculated in a situation where the air gap is 10.63 mils is 3.5 mils. The estimated spacing is 7.13 mils, and on each side of the trace, the value is reduced by half, which is 3.565 mils. This rule remains effective only in the BGA region. Hence, you have to demarcate a constraint room under the particular BGA. There are different ways to specify the room in Altium Designer. Here we are demonstrating one of them. Select Components, then go to Design and click on Rooms. You can see multiple options here. Choose the Place Rectangular Room for a rectangular shaped room, the Place Polygonal Room to create a polygonal manually with any number of points and position the room wherever you want. You can also select specific components at the same instant and place them in an orthogonal room with a bend angle of 90 degrees or in non-orthogonal rooms that take the shortest path to connect multiple components and do not have a 90 degree bend angle. There is an alternative known as create rectangle room from selected components to obtain a room that is created considering the complete X and Y dimensions for the selected components. For this design, the option Create Rectangle Room from the selected components is chosen. You can see the defined room now with right number of pads and vias. Here it is Room Definition. To change the name of the room, go to Rules under Design, select Placement, and click on the room name you want to change. Here we have renamed it as New underscore rule, save and proceed. You can see the room created with the new name over here. Now you have to route the trace. You need to assign appropriate rules to the created room. The specific trace already has some default rules. These rules incorporate the trace to pass between the two pads and maintain suitable spacing on both sides as well. Next, we will demonstrate how to define clearance rules in this room. For this, open clearance under design. Right-click on Clearance and create new rule. Change the name as per your convenience. Now go to where First Object Matches. Select Custom Query and type W to get the option within room. Pick the right room for the option that are defined in this particular design. It is New Underscore Rule. The clearance between any electrical object and hole is set to 3.565 mils as calculated earlier. except the spacings from the hole to any object are fixed to 8 mils. In Altium, while executing custom query, you can opt for AND, which considers both the context and OR operations, which refer to any of the conditions. For this, if you want to use rule only for the bottom layer, add AND on bottom layer. You can include a specific net class after this by adding and in net class and selecting the name of the net class. You can fix different combinations according to the design. In this design, the custom query is set to within room new underscore rule, which means all the layers within the specific area are subjected to the defined rules. 
we will proceed to learn the steps to set the trace width. Select Width under Routing and create new rule. And create new rule that is Width underscore 1 here. You can change the name. Open where the first object matches and click on Custom Query. As discussed earlier, go to Within Room and choose the right room to select Minimum Width, Maximum Width, and Preferred Width. For this demonstration, the trace width values are set to 3.5 mils. After creating the rules for trace width and spacing, now you can move to via settings. To specify via routing, go to routing via style and create a new rule. Follow the previously discussed steps to obtain within room in the custom query and pick the right room. Next, provide the values of maximum, minimum, and preferred for the via hole size and via diameter. For this board, the via diameter values are set to 10 mils and the hole size values are 4 mils. Save and proceed. Now let's see how we can route this particular trace. Select the route option, click interactive routing, and start routing traces. The default trace width is 5 mils. As soon as the trace enters the created room, trace width will take the defined value, which is 3.5 mils. Outside the constraint room, via hole size and diameter are 6 mils and 16 mils respectively. As you enter the room, these will change to 4 mils and 10 mils, as defined earlier. Here, we do not require routing via. You can simply pass through the VGA region and connect two points. You can see the width is now 3.5 mils within the specific region. By clicking on the particular space, you can check the air gap also, which is 3.565 mils for this particular design. You can try Sierra Circuit's trace width calculator to compute the right trace width for your design.